Welcome once again, my disciples of mathematics. Today we're going to finish our lesson on open sentences. So here we have open sentences continued. Number two, the second idea of the day. We're going to use the order of operations to solve an equation. What's an equation? Equation has an equal sign. Okay, this is really no different than solving the expressions that we've done earlier where there was no, we were just solving an expression. There was no equal sign. Now all we have is an equal to a variable. So now it becomes an equation. So we use the same idea. We use the order of operations. Here we have a fraction bar problem where we have to do the, or the numerator and the denominator independently. So we can do one step here, one step there, and that's what we're going to do right now. So if I were to look just at the numerator, I need to take my 8 plus 2, which is 10, so I'm going to rewrite that as 5 times 10 all over, and what do I do first here in the denominator? I have to do the parentheses first, 5 minus 3, so we're going to change that to 2. All right, so we got 18 minus 2, that's cubed, okay, equal to k. All right. So, here we go again. Let's start with the numerator. There's only one thing to do. Multiply, so we get 50 in the numerator. And the denominator, we get 18 minus, well, parentheses are first, but there's nothing inside them really to do, so we'll go to the exponent. So what we want to do here is take two and cube it. And that is not six. That is two times two times two, which is eight equal to k. If I were looking at my problem now, I see that I only have that one left, one operation of subtraction here to do. So we got 50 equals k all over 10. Okay, and then we just have a simple division problem of 50 divided by 10. k in this case equals 5. Okay, the final idea for today is really no different than what we did earlier um, in number one. In number three, we're going to find a solution set given an inequality. Okay, what's the difference from an inequality and an equation? Well, an inequality basically uses these. Inequality has, it can be less than, greater than, less than, or equal to, or greater than, or equal to. So those are our inequality symbols. It's no different than equation, except we no longer have the equal sign. We have an inequality symbol. Also, technically, this is also an inequality not equal to. Okay, we won't be seeing that in our problems today, but that is also an inequality. Okay, so let's say this is what your examples are going to look like. Um, they're going to give you an inequality. Let's say we have 2a over 4 is less than or equal to 8. And I'll put a semicolon here, and then they're going to give you a... That's a bad squiggly. Let's do a new one. So we go... With a lot of practice. All uh, right, so we have the replacements at 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and 22. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so there's our replacement set. What do we have to do? We need to make our table. We're going to replace our variable A here with these values in our replacement set. So let's set up our table. A. We'll put our inequality in here, 2a over 4, less than or equal to 8, okay, Make a little space there, and this is our true or false. Okay, so let's start with the number 12. So a is now 12, so I need to replace a up here with the number 12. And when I make substitutions, it's always good practice to put that in parentheses. Okay. Alright, so we have 2 times 12 divided by 4. That is 
24 divided by 4. Is that less than or equal to 8? Well, we know that 24 divided by 4 is 6. 6 is less than 8, so that's true. Now, unlike equations, we had one solution. Inequality, we might have more than one solution here. So we need to keep going. Let's try 14. So we got 2 times 14 over 4, less than or equal to 8. Well, 2 times 14 is 28. So really what we have here, let's do a little arrow, is 28 divided by 4. Is that less than or equal to 8? Well, 28 divided by 4 is 7. 7 is less than 8. So that is true. We're going to keep going until we hit a false statement. 16. So we have 2 times 16 divided by 4. Is that less than or equal to 8? Well, let's find out. 2 times 16 is 32. Order of operations is I have to do that numerator. So 32 over 4. Is that less than or equal to 8? Well, 32 divided by 4 is 8. That's okay. 8 can be equal. 8 is equal to 8. So that is another true statement. It can be equal to here. All right, and now let's try 18. So we have 2 times 18 all over 4, less than or equal to 8. And what does that yield? Well, 2 times 18 is 36. 36 divided by 4, is that less than 8? No. 36 divided by 4 is 9. 9 is greater than 8. So this is a false statement. And as you can see in mathematics, we look for patterns. You can see as the numbers increases, this number is going to increase. So if I go bigger here, this is going to be bigger here. So it doesn't, I don't really need to waste my time here and do 20 and 22. I need to do all that in there anymore. We're smart enough, we can figure that out. But those are going to be false as well. Okay? So what we have to do is find the solution set. So you have to tell me what the solution set of numbers is here, given my replacement set. And all you do is say my solution set is equal to my truths. 12, 14, and 16. 12, 14, and 16. Close it off. And that is my solution set.